Hello and welcome to Ionic Tips Weekly, episode 12, the weekly Ionic show where we take a look at one small tip each week to try and become better Ionic developers. Uh, for this week, I'm just going to do a quick walkthrough of setting up a, a menu and split pane in an Ionic application. And so we can use the uh, ion split pane component to uh, expose a side menu when we're running the, uh, the application uh, on, on larger screens. And so we can have a menu that, you know, the typical sort of side menu where you click a button and it pops in from the side. Uh, but then on larger screens, uh, that side menu will just always be visible by default. And so the screen will be kind of split into two parts, kind of like this. Uh, if you imagine uh, this left bit here would be the menu and then the debugger window here would be the main uh, section of your application. And so rather than having to open the menu to navigate to pages, you could just have this static menu here that users could click on. And so what I've done is just I've generated a default blank Ionic application and we're just going to set up split pane in that. Uh, it's actually really easy to set up. Uh, it's just a few things you need to do. And so we're just going to walk through doing that. Okay, so I've got the application uh, open here now. Uh, most of what we need to do is just in this uh, root component file, uh, we have our usual ion router outlet in here, which is what displays uh, our application, whatever uh, route is currently active in the application that will be displayed in here. And so what we need to do to get the split pane and menu set up is just add a few more things to this root component file. And the basic idea is that we would surround our router outlet here with the ion split pane component. So we'll create that and then we'll just move the outlet inside of that. And then we just have an ion menu as well. And then we'll just add the main attribute to this router outlet to indicate that this is the, the main navigation view for our application. And that's what's going to be displayed alongside that split pane. And this is basically uh, all you need to do uh, mostly to set this up. Now, of course, we're actually going to want to add something into our menu. And so I don't actually have any other uh, pages set up at the moment. So what I'm going to do is just, uh, I'll just set up the typical sort of layout for a page. I'll add a header with a toolbar and we'll just add a title as well of menu. Uh, but inside this menu, you could also you know, put the ion content section in there. And we'd probably also have a list of uh, buttons to act as our, our navigation options. So to do that, we'd have an ion list and then we can just add the ion menu toggle component. And then inside of that, we could add some buttons. So use ion item with an attribute of button then that would link to uh, somewhere. Uh, maybe we'd have a, a detail page or whatever other page. Uh, you just link to the route there. Specify its router direction. And that might be say a, a route navigation there. And then you can just give that a uh, label of whatever you want. So as I mentioned, I don't actually have any other pages in this application, uh, but you just go ahead and add and ion menu toggle for whatever you want to be linked in the menu. And you could even set this up dynamically as well if you wanted. So let's just save that now and see if we have anything going on in the browser. Okay, so if we look at the application at uh, this size, nothing appears to be different. Uh, if I get rid of this emulator here though, to make the screen a lot bigger, uh, you can see that we have the menu over on the side now and we have the main application on the right here, which is basically what we started with. And so if I just shrink this, keep shrinking that down. And when we get to that point, we that 900 and around 992 pixels is that break point. And that's the point where the menu is toggled on and off. And so if you want to, you can change when that happens. Uh, if you take a look at the split pane documentation, you can see here we can supply, uh, supply a when uh, property and then you can just give the size uh, of when you want that breakpoint to occur so it can be all the way from zero so it's just always on or uh, any of these values here so just as an example let's change ours to the small value so we'll say ion split pane when equals sm 
So if we save that and jump back into the application again, you can see that it's exposed now. As I continue to shrink it, it's still visible, still visible, still visible until we get really small there. And that's the point at which it will switch off. And I've actually just noticed that the, um, uh, I can't actually see my menu button there. Uh, we actually need to specify the auto hide property on this. And uh, we'll set that to false. And I'm also gonna get rid of this small breakpoint as well. And we'll just go back to the default for that. Okay, so now we can see the button there and we could click on that. If I do, it's going to break uh, because I'm linking to a route that doesn't exist. But yeah, that's the basic idea. You better click that, link to whatever route you want. And it's going to then display in this main uh, router outlet here. Now there is one more thing that I would like to cover. Uh, if I shrink back down to the sort of normal mobile app size, uh, you can see obviously there's no way to actually get to the menu now. Uh, I can do the whole you know, drag from the side thing, which does work, uh, but obviously there's no real cue that you can do that and the user's probably not going to know that the menu exists there. So what we can do to enable that uh, navigation is just open up the, the template for the, the page we're on there. And we'll just add some uh, buttons or a button rather. So we'll add the ion buttons component and inside of that, we'll create a, a ion menu button. And we'll put that in the start slot. So if I save that now, hopefully we can jump back into here and you can see we now have that hamburger menu icon now. If I click on that, it pops open the menu. And if I click on one of my links here, uh, again, it doesn't work because uh, I don't have that route set up. But when you click on that, the menu disappears. And if I expand to full size, uh, here you can see that it no longer disp uh, displays that menu icon anymore. Okay, so that's it for this week's tip. Uh, if you like this video, please do feel free to like and subscribe and I will see you again in the next video.